Well, I heard a story about my old friend Jim, and he looked at me and he said, Hey, I need a drink. And I said, Well, I don't got no money. And so we went out to the bar. We went inside the bar to do the service because we got no money. So we went outside with cups of paint. We passed out in the gutter, and everyone said, Well, I wonder why them drugs is getting the job. Hey, all right, so a little bit later, we're going to get the other control arm bracket mounted up. I'll be honest, I didn't really have hardly anything to do with fabbing up the mounts except for cutting some pieces the way that he told me to, but that's totally his brainchild. It's his thing. So I guess right now I'm going to try to concentrate on seeing if I can't get this bracket that's pressed and splined on to the steering shaft off so that we can start to address the steering issues because that'll be the final thing to worry about for the front end conversion after we get this other control arm mounted. I don't know how it's going to go or if I'm going to pull it off, but I'm going to try. Okay, see here, these, this, the rag joint connected up to this, and there's two dips in here where it's closest to the shaft. This is splined underneath here, but it's also kind of pressed on, so you can't just hammer it off. You have to, have to cut it out a bit. I'm going to try to probably cut the, the ears off a little bit more so I can get to it maybe, I don't know, and just try to slightly get in there without messing up the splining, because if I do that then I'm screwed, so I don't know how it's going to go, but that's the plan of attack. Went down to the cafeteria for some Doritos and a Diet Dr. Pepper. The doctor said I needed something to eat, but I wasn't, I wasn't, well I didn't get the liver transplant, and so I went back and my friend he came up and he said, hey, why don't we go get a drink at the bar? I don't got no money though. Yow! 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 Okay, to keep it from spinning on me while I do that, I went ahead and bungeed the uh, steering wheel to the rearview mirror. If I need it turned a different direction, I'll just undo that, spin it, then tie it back up. Getting closer, this is either going to be a how to do this or a how to not do this video. We'll find out really soon. Well, it's loose. I'm not quite sure what happens from here. We'll see. All right, if you see from here, I, uh, I managed to break it loose. I got these all kind of cut around pretty close so that there was no real structural integrity going on. And I beat on it with the hammer a little bit. I was trying to do as least damage as possible to splining, but this piece right here is broken open pretty good, so I should be able to pry this off here now.
Okay, so here's what's up. <clears throat> While I was doing the brakes, which look pretty sharp, right? While I was doing them, the very last piston pin that I was mounting with, I snapped the uh, snapped the screw off in it. So I went to the auto parts store to get a new one, and lo and behold, they didn't have it. None of the three auto parts stores that I went to had it. And then the car that I was in, at the last auto parts store, the battery blew up in it. And I had to replace the battery and the cables with a little crescent wrench right there in the parking lot, which took a couple hours going back and forth and getting the right shit. Uh, so I didn't get a whole lot done. But I got the brakes all on except for that one pin. And I got the flange removed from the steering shaft, so not a total loss but just one of those irritating days where the world kicks you in the balls and then you just have to make lemonade with it or some shit like that. I don't know. Anyway, that's it for today. Again, just a public service reminder. Don't have my last name. It's not good for you.